Yo, what's going on people and welcome back to another video. So, in this episode I'm going to tell you everything that is wrong with this minivan. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see loads of nice little pictures of all my minis on there. But what I don't say is everything that is wrong with them. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through everything that's wrong with it and everything that needs sorting and what we're getting sorted on the van before show season. So, let's crack on. Okay, so... Problem number one, now this is actually my fault this, because on Saturday I was tidying up the garage, not paying attention to what I was doing, and I actually reversed into my van, in my wheelchair, and snapped this off, and obviously it needs fixing, so basically what's happened is I've snapped that, that goes on there, and then that screws on there somehow, spoke to P&L Minis, and they can stock it, so I need one of them, so that's problem number one. Okay, so, hang on a minute. You don't like to eat a tune your hair off. So, problem number two, rocker cover gasket is leaking, so I need a new one of them. I'm not going cork, I'm gonna get the rubber one, it's about eight quid, so I'm gonna get one of them. Which leads me on to problem number three, which is, I don't know if you can see that. So I actually put a picture of this on Instagram, on my Instagram story, and Cole from Classic Mini DIY was like, mate, that is so bent. And I actually didn't realize how bent it was, so if you can see there, it's like super bent. So I need to get one of them. Uh, what else have I got problems? Oh yeah, another one. Rocker cover is painted absolutely shite. So I need to take it off when I do the gasket and repaint that. And I think for the engine bay, that is about it. I've actually lost count of how many problems I've got here now. So hang on a minute, I've got red light, rocker cover on its day and the rocker cover needs respraying so that's four so this is problem number five so problem number five is this door now it shuts all right when you slam it but it's actually catching on the top here and if i bring you in like this you will see that it is marking on the top so again that needs sorting now if anyone actually knows how to adjust doors with Mark Winninger's. Please get in the comments and let me know because I haven't a clue. So that's problem number five. Okay, problem number six. It's actually pretty good, this video. Oh, is it for that now? Hang on, someone's ringing. Hello. Hi, mate, you all right? Yeah, you fine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, interruptions aside, as you can see, Mr. DJ C rang me. How very rude of him when I'm trying to do a YouTube video. So. Okay, how many problems have I now? Problem number six, that's it. So basically, this heater was working anything below 40 miles an hour. If you went above 40 miles an hour, it then stopped. So I decided to start having to play around with the wiring, totally fucked it up, and yeah, that doesn't work now. So that's another thing that I need to sort because if you know me personally, you'll know I don't like the cold. So if this doesn't work, the van doesn't come out of the garage. So that's problem number six. Okay, so that is all the major problems with the van, actual functional problems, whereas now I'm just going to get into the little anal problems because I'm super anal. So another thing that needs sorting is the bumpers because they're all pitted and just look shit. So I'm going to get them sorted out. Sports Pino Minis, 30 quid plus fat, I'll have a bit of that. So I'm going to get them done. Might even get new Mark 1 rear lights as well because the chrome on them's a little bit crap as well. Uh, that's it for the back end. Oh, I am going to get some new registration plates as well because I've seen a van on Instagram. Uh, what's his name? Life Out There Photography. Big up you, mate, if you're watching. He actually plugged me for the uh, sign writing as well. I'm going to get some classic vintage registration plates. So basically, it's black with like raised white letters on the top for there, which I think will look pretty cool and a bit more period. Um, and that, I think, concludes everything that's wrong with the minivan. So, anyone watching and is wondering what video is going to be coming up, it shall be me getting this thing sorted out. Yeah, I need to still sort my blooming out, but I just really can't be asked at the minute. And if you, I don't know if you can hear or not, it's absolutely pissing down out there. So, yeah, I think that concludes the video. So, like I say, it's literally dead quick tonight. Thought I'd churn some out there, you know. So, bear with me. I shall be back in the very near future. Oh, I nearly forgot. 
exhaust. So I don't know if you can see, I'll bring you in there. So this exhaust is actually behind where the bumper is. Now I spoke to Liz from PL and basically what happens is if your exhaust is too short, the way the wind blows down the back of the van actually the exhaust fume blowing through that crack in the door. I don't know how true this is, so don't take my word on it. But when you're driving the van around, it absolutely stinks. So I need to get a new exhaust for that. I was going to get a tip for it, but a Maniflow exhaust is 140 quid plus that. And you get a nice little stainless steel tip on it as well. So I think I shall be getting one of those. Um, and for everyone asking when's the clutch video going to be out, I actually don't know because I need to speak to Tom Shorrock. And if you know Tom Shorrock like I do, you'll know he's the biggest nightmare to try and get anything out of. So, if you're watching Tom, let's do the video, mate. Otherwise, I'm doing it. I'm going to get some subscribers off it, so. Only taking a piss. Right. Until next time, be seeing you.